Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? So do you know what? Even though I'm on my holiday, <laughs> I'm still going to make a few videos. I might as well because do you know what? This is the most relaxing, tranquil holiday I've ever had. This is day one and I'm already feeling so zen, so relaxed. And that's what it's about really. I uh, made a decision that I was going to go on a solo holiday. I was going to go somewhere luxurious and I was going to choose put the deposit down and then go and it took me a long while to first of all make that decision and then also to put the deposit down and then I've been I've spent the year paying this off looking forward to it and now I'm getting the rewards so what I want to talk about in this video is linked to that a little bit what would what would convince you to start leveling up areas of your life so I was listening to a book I don't know if it was either the um there's a few books actually which have said the same thing so I'm not sure if it came out of the miracle equation or another book it might have been the psychology of money um, where it just said if everyone looked at every single area of their life and decided they were going to level it up you know similar to the 10x rule by Grant Cardone where you literally just put more effort more energy more time into those areas of your life that are not working for you, that are not as good as where you want them to be, and then you just level up. Now, I know that sometimes there's lots of buzzwords, you know, upgrade your life, level up, and all these sorts of things, so people tend to think it's just, you know, um, words that people say and all the rest of it, but for me, it's about the philosophy and the beliefs you hold. If I was to say that I pay, I'm going to go on a holiday where I'm paying more than I would pay the cost of my car, <laughs> this holiday costs me more than my car is worth. If I was to say I'm going to um, go to one of the most expensive islands to travel to in the world, um, I probably wouldn't have believed that I was going to be able to do it. It's not even little things like that, same as being the first person in my family to go to university, same as... Um, you know, getting out of debt, paying off all my debts and living debt free, no credit card, no overdraft for years, no loans, nothing. Um, there's lots of things I've done, but what I've had to do at first is believe that they're possible, but also then make a decision that I'm going to do that in those areas of my life. You have to work on your budgeting if you know that you're not good with finances. You have to work on your relationships more if you know that your relationships are not working. You have to work on your um, appearance and on how you feel about yourself if you're low if you've got low self-esteem you have to work on everything in order for you to 10 exit or in order for it to become a five that's it five out of five um in your life i think that's what they were saying every area of your life make it five out of five now people are going to say that that's really difficult to do and i'd say the biggest issue with it is first of all lots of people live in the past now living in the past serves two purposes for those people one if you live in the past, it means you can then um, focus on the past as being the reason why you haven't moved forward in your present life. And second of all, there's some level of comfort from that because it means you don't then have to do anything about your current life or the future because you can keep saying, well, I need to just talk about the past or I need to focus on the past or the past is why I'm here right now. So the minute you let go of the past, that's one path towards levelling up your life. The second thing is being honest with yourself. We all know there's areas where we could do better. I'm not good, brilliant at budgeting all the time, but every time I make mistakes where it is withdrawing money out of the bank and then spending more than I wanted to, using my debit card too much, um, making purchases on Amazon, you know, I've started looking at those things and then saying, do you know what, that's me. It's me that's making those decisions, so I need to make better money decisions. Same as people in their relationships, it's always the other person, you know, that person, if they change, if only they did something, well, what about if you said you're going to level up your relationship by how you communicate, by how you respond to your partner, by how loving, you know, the energy you decide to put out. So ultimately, it's about whether you are happy with where you are and you want to remain there or whether you want to do something about it. If you want to do something about it, then it's going to take sacrifices, it's going to take work, it's going to take energy. Um, you know, I'm not just keep using this as an example of me going on holiday, but I tell you what, there were times where I could not pay towards the holiday. There were times where I was regretting my decision and saying, why did you spend so much on a holiday that you're not, you've got a whole year to pay for? Uh, there was times where I thought, you know, there's other things happening. When the clutch was going on my car, when this was happening, when that was happening, I would say, I could have used that money for something else. But do you know what? Now that I'm here, I'm so glad that I committed to it because this is what I needed. I needed seven days break where there's no laptop, 
where there's no answering all the emails, I haven't looked at my emails and I won't be as well, where you can just have beautiful scenery and work, which I deserve. You know, I work non-stop. <laughs> I, literally the last holiday I had on a plane was um, nine years ago. Um, the, I've done short breaks, but even short breaks, sometimes I'll go away for one night or two nights, but I work really, really hard. So for me, I deserve this. So you just need to say to yourself, what is it that you're not putting the energy, the effort and the time into? Because those things are not gonna um, improve unless you do put the time, the energy and the effort. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, feel free to share it with other people. Also, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.